Scott here with Artist Network and today we're talking about the ampersand floater frames. Now floater frames are excellent options to frame your work. They create this magical effect of your work floating inside the frame. Now what ampersand has done is they've put together these really awesome sets that allow you to frame your own artwork easily in a clean, professional looking way. Now one of the key features to a floater frame is that you want to bring the artwork to the surface, but it's an important distinction there is you don't want it to project forward at all. So what they've done is they've designed it in such a way that no matter what surface you're painting on, it's bringing it to the right depth so that it's set back in just slightly. So if your frame falls forward or if it catches on something, you're not gonna damage the artwork. They've also created these frames in a variety of sizes and colors. You've got white, you've got black, you've got natural wood. Their sets are designed to work really well with their panels. So we have a 7 8 inch panel here. Uh, we've got a one and a half inch deep can, uh, panel as well. And if you're not working with the materials, you can work on a flat surface, you can work on a canvas, and they have everything you need to work with it. So with their 7 8 inch kit, you have the option of a quarter inch profile, nice, slim, and clean look, um, as well as the bold profile, which is 3 8 inch wide. Now, what you notice here is they've brought that backing forward to bring your artwork up to that depth that we were talking about. And if you're working on a flat panel with no cradle or a stretch canvas, they supply these risers here so that's really important. Now, the, the thing that I also really like about these frames is that they have nice wide backing plates here. So it helps you to make sure that you are attaching your work properly. Sometimes floater frames are a little too thin on the back and it makes it very challenging to frame things like panels. So now I decided to work today on a nine by 12 uh, a panel here with the one and a half inch depth to it. And I'm gonna to choose to frame it in this natural wood. Uh, and, and again, I have the thin option available and I have the bold. I think the bold is gonna work out just great for me. So let me show you how it's done. So we've opened the box for the set and here's what we see. We have some fast set screws. That's all you need to mount the one and a half inch work comes with the wire and the screw eyes that you're gonna need. It comes with bumpers as well as the hook and nail. Now, if you have the 7 8 inch set, you're also gonna notice the risers. So if you need to bring that stretch canvas or a flat panel forward more, you're going to have the risers that you need to give it just the right amount of depth. Again, that comes with a 7 8 inch set, not with a one and a half inch set. So in addition to what comes with the kit, you're gonna need some of your own tools. Uh, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a screwdriver, a ruler or tape measure. You're gonna need a pencil uh, to cut your wire. You're gonna need some wire cutters as well as a drill bit to help preset the screw eyes. And if you do have need for the risers, you're gonna need some wood glue. So let's put our frame together now. So if you need the risers, this is a great time to do that before you start to assemble the frame. Attach the risers to the back of your artwork. And so you just need four of them. You place them in the center of the backing material. And it's a great idea also to paint those risers to match your frame. They come in the natural wood, um, but if you have a black frame, you, it can be helpful to paint it black. And then while that's drying, you can start to assemble your frame. Now to begin the frame, you're gonna flip it over and measure down an equal distance along the inside left and right edges down from the top, approximately a third of the distance. And at this location, pre-drill your holes and attach each of the small eye screws. Now flip your frame over and place your artwork. You're gonna to wanna to use spacers here, and a convenient option is to simply cut down and fold over the cardboard used as the corner protectors that come with the frame. Now carefully flip your frame and the artwork over. You may need to support your artwork and adjust slightly here. Now you can attach the artwork to the frame using the screws that are provided, and these are fast screws, so you don't need to pre-drill your holes. 
Now with that secured, you're gonna measure your wire about 12 inches wider than the width of the frame and cut. Then center your wire between the eye screws, wrap that wire twice through each eye screw, and then tightly around itself multiple times for a secure hold. Now place the bumpers in the corners on the back of the frame and you're ready to hang your artwork using the provided hanging hardware. So here we have the final piece and I have to say I couldn't be happier. It was so easy to put this together and it makes the artwork look great. So from the very beginning of choosing the panel, which was fantastic to paint on, I really enjoyed the surface of uh, this panel. Uh, and then knowing that the frame is going to fit it perfectly, it's really a wonderful experience from, from beginning to end. So I encourage you to explore all the options available to you at ampersandart.com. Go to your local art supply store and dig into your next project.